Now what I want to show you is a common mistake that some of our customers make. Um, I, I, before I showed you that the tension plates have great tension on them when the presser foot is down and they don't and they're loose when the presser foot is up. What that means is, is that you should obviously be threading your machine. Let's pull the thread out. You should be threading your machine when the, when the presser foot is up so that you can get the thread pulled deeply between the tension plates. And indeed, I will often tell you pull on the two threads to make sure that it's pulled all the way to the core of the tension post. But if you forget that and you drop the presser foot and go to thread the machine with the foot dropped, it's going to be very difficult to pull the thread into the core. And you may even forget that you need to pull it into the core and then continue to thread the machine the way you normally would. So what I'm doing is I'm showing you what not to do here. And rotate our wheel to get down to our guard, our guide. And thread the needle. And I'm just going to pass my thread through the hole because as you already know we want the thread between the foot and the top of the plate. And now I have lifted my presser foot but I haven't pulled my thread into the disc so you can still see it's riding on the outside surface of the discs. Now sometimes this example works and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the machine will pull the thread into the discs on its own but it typically won't for the first few stitches. And it is not here, you can tell, because it's not pulling it into the core. So what I'm going to show here is that even though I think I've done everything right, wow, what's going on with my stitch? I got a horrible mess. Well, the machine didn't do anything wrong. You did. You didn't thread the machine properly. Now, I've lifted my presser foot in order to pull my fabric out, and notice my thread now, when I pulled on the thread, it did pull it into the core like it should. So if I were to continue to sew, at this point, everything's going to be fine. But I might be asking myself, well, well, how come it's so inconsistent? How come my stitch is perfect now, and when I first started my project, it looked like garbage? Well, the answer is, again, you didn't pull your thread deeply into your tension groove. So uh, now that I've shown you that potential problem, hopefully you can uh, uh, negotiate, or hopefully you can avoid it.